So that supreme truth, some vibrational difference happened in it and it wanted to express itself. So from that divine wholeness, the divine fragment was born. From Paramatma, Atma was born. Now here the Shastra, again the scriptures say, what is the difference between the divine wholeness and the divine fragment? What is the difference between Paramatma and Atma? So again it says that is wrong questioning because here the Shastra puts a riddle. If you take the part out of the whole, the whole remains the whole. If you put the whole into the part, the part is already the whole. There is no difference between the part and the whole. Still something happened and that divine wholeness became the divine fragment. The Paramatma became the Atma. But in this difference of vibrations, two things were produced. In this differentiation, two things were produced. One, what we call Chitti. Chitti is the plaster scene of the universe. This universe was made from, is made from what substance? It is made out of chitti. Another name for chitti, we can, which is not the proper name, but we can equate it, is prana. Right? So what is the nature of the universe? The nature of the universe is chitti. It is made, all forms are chitti, all energies are chitti. And another thing which came out from this divine wholeness becoming the divine fragment, was a sound called Omkar. <coughs> so this is the primal sound. How did that divine wholeness express itself? How did the unmanifest <coughs> become the manifest? Through this sound, Omkar. So if we want to go back to our original source, to our celestial home, huh, then this Omkar is the complete journey. It takes our energies back to the source from where they came from where they were born, from their primal source. 